I'm going to show you how to make these cool duct tape flowers with bottle cap centers. You can pretty much use any kind of duct tape, patterns, solids, and any kind of beads. All you need is duct tape, um, a bottle cap. We sell these bottle caps at Making Friends, different colors. You can pick whatever color you want for your project. Some glue. I happen to like this Fabri-Tac glue. It uh, dries fast, almost as fast as hot glue, but you don't have to worry about electricity or younger kids burning themselves. Um, a little bit goes a long way, and you can also get this at makingfriends.com. You'll need scissors or an X-Acto knife. I like to work often with an X-Acto knife, but that's up to you. You can use whatever you need. You also need some beads. Uh, this pack of beads is $3.99 makingfriends.com and there's 1,500 beads, so one pack is going to make you a lot of flowers. You want to cut two pieces of duct tape 11 inches long. Take the first piece and lay it on top of the second piece about a quarter of an inch from the top. Then cut that piece into five two inch pieces. Uh, you can measure and cut if you want. Uh, having a cutting board like this makes it a little bit easier. Just cut in five pieces. If you find that you're getting a little bit sticky, you can use some baby powder. I usually keep a little container of baby powder and I stick the tips of my fingers in from time to time just to keep uh, the adhesive from adhering too much to my fingers. If your cutting implement is getting too sticky, just use a little bit of nail polish remover on it and that will dissolve any of the excess glue that might have built up. Okay, once you get your pieces cut, you want to make petal shapes. That's usually done easiest with a scissor. And you just trim the adhesive off of one side and curve the edges like this. You really don't need a pattern. Just um, eyeball it and it will come out good. You don't have to be too crazy about this. You can experiment with different shapes if you want, like uh, points or uh, using a... Um, scissor that has a zigzag like a pinking shear or a scrapbook scissors as long as they're sharp you can get all kinds of different edges on it but don't try to use dull scissors they'll make you crazy once you have your five shapes cut what you want to do is take a piece and fold it in half this is really just to mark the middle that's really the only reason for that. Fold it like that. Then you take one side and fold it back on itself about a quarter of an inch, like this. And do the same for the other side. But be careful not to let the pieces, the edges stick together. All right, you wanna leave that open like that. And then you have your petal shape. Stick it down like that. Do that with the other four pieces. Fold it in half just to mark your center. And then fold back. And do the same on the other side. Stick it down. Okay, pick out a bottle cap. Turn it over. And then stick the petals 
to the bottle cap, arranging them to look like a flower. You overlap the edges. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Turn it over, it looks like this. Then you take your glue. If you don't have this fabric glue, you can use like a tacky glue, or you can use a hot glue. It's just going to dry really fast. Squeeze in a layer of glue. And then pour in your beads. Kind of arrange them and push them down to have one layer. And you'll have to let it dry. Once it's dry, you can do a lot with your flower. You can uh, put a headband, glue a headband to it or a pin. You can hang it from your backpack. Uh, you can put it on any of your duct tape projects like uh, a purse or um, a notebook or anything that you want to decorate and they come out really nice. Now I think you know how to make a large duct tape flower and I hope you enjoy doing it.